And I don't know what Joe Biden's bank statements are going to show. My guess is, you know, who's paying his contractor fees up in well, that, Delaware? I mean, no, he didn't. He doesn't pay any bills. No, that's Hunter was paying all the bills. Hunter, they got to do more than bank statements. Hunter is the bag man. I want everyone to understand that the money was being funneled through these corrupt business cutouts into Hunter's bank accounts. But then Hunter was responsible for taking care of all of the expenditures for the entire Biden family. That's the whole way they circumvented this, folks. It's like it's pretty obvious at this point if you've paid any attention at all. That's what they did. Biden doesn't ever touch the money. That's how he gets away with it. There's a crisis for the political system here in Washington, D.C., because they've known Biden has been corrupt since he's a senator. He's been in Washington 50 years. This is not a surprise to folks who serve with him and people around him. And the problem the political system has is now half the country believe him to be corrupt, too. So now they don't know what to do about it. Hence McCarthy's confusion about whether to support or not support an impeachment inquiry. And like if they ripped it open and he was super corrupt and then got impeached and had to step down, we'd have Kamala Harris as president. And like, is that are we even better off? Is that you yes. think that's going through people's heads? Yeah. If it's just if that's, the, you know, if justice results, if that's what justice results in, you know, that's the reality of it. And. I mean, just think about it, an impeachment inquiry. I mean, they're not, you know, they're still presuming to 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 say that, well, we don't know if we're going to impeach him or not. I mean, come on, guys. Well, because Here's, justice, it's like how, when do you put the brakes on justice? You know, you could rip the rip it open on Kamala Harris's bank records next. You can go into Willie Brown next. You could go into like her old text message. Like, how deep do you want to go to take out every new leader that steps in you because have, of some dumb corruption no, scandal? You actually, but it's not done though. I want to be very clear. This is not dumb. If if you are actually like, there's a really good chance that Russia doesn't invade if it's not for Biden's relationship with Burisma and the leadership, not to mention the State Department coup, not to mention Victoria Nuland. Like, there's a whole bunch of back history here that, yes, there's minor seemingly millions of dollars worth of corruption in terms of what they profited. But what does it mean in terms of the outcome for geopolitical dynamics? Like, we could end up in World War III because we were led by a corrupt president during this period. Yeah, because you're telling Russia and China, if you compromise our president, we're going to remove him from office or move to remove him. I mean, Burisma was a Russia-leading country, uh, uh, government um, entity. I mean, what I loved about that 1023, that FBI form that described uh, the head of Burisma's bribe scheme for the Bidens. So the FBI source goes and says, you know, we had the meeting and it was all in Russian. So Burisma was, you know, so between Russia uh, giving them money through the oligarch's wife, that was further confirmed last week. Who is that? What's the wife's name? Um, Maria, what's her it face? It was right? the mayor of Moscow's uh, ex-wife, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So it was like three, and you know, Devin Archer essentially confirmed they sent millions of dollars to their companies, and all of which they shared. Uh, and then Burisma, you have FBI Yelena. evidence. He gave $10 million, they, they gave $10 million to the Bidens. And so if you're Putin, to your point, Clint, you're thinking, well, you know, I'm not going to invade Ukraine because Biden's on the tank, and I know he is because right. we compromised him. But certainly that would be a factor, don't you think? That well, this, the country's not stable. Well, D.C., you know, Biden can be con he's compromised. He can be talked to. You know, he knows we know about him. Well, we had documents where during the Obama administration, uh, the Ukrainian ambassador was getting an email from her person. Just before Biden went to Ukraine in January of 2021, just mm -hmm. before Trump came in, and uh, the Russians started trolling him, literally trolling him in the newspapers. Well, keep in mind too, because the Burisma and the, and the and the Obama's ambassador said, you know, was told, well, this is this is the Burisma is the gift that keeps on giving. Yep. So they knew that the Biden issue was compromising our national security vis-a-vis wow. -vis Russia. Well, and 